What's up everybody and thank you for watching the Williams Family Adventures. I am Mama Angie aka Angie B. Thank you guys for watching. This is my store. Go ahead and comment and like. Go ahead and go to my store. Check things out. Tell me how you like my website. If anything needs to be improved, done, just let me know. And uh, be sure to leave a comment. Let me let me know if you like these videos I'm putting out. All right, without further notice, let's get into it, you guys. Hey, you guys. Have anybody else have this problem? So like, I'm fixing my store because I realized that the store is not really me. I was putting in products that I thought would sell. But then after viewing YouTube videos and people saying that you need to, excuse me, make sure that the products have good reviews, I started back, you know, uh, editing my store and I was like, gosh, this is not me. I am plus size, so I want plus size items. And then also a lot of the people that shop at my store or want to shop at my store was like, why don't you have a lot of plus size items? I expected you to have plus size, which they're right. I shop at my own store. I try the products out. I wear them. Um, I'm giving reviews on them. I'm showing you guys how it fits. If it says 4X, 3X, 2X, 1X, is it really that size? So I do have um, some of my family members that ordered and that is gonna be showing some of their items that they purchased and um also we're getting ready to have a black friday sale you guys so you guys don't want to miss that i mean we got some awesome items i've changed a lot of stuff so everything that i put in my store is going to reflect my personality what i like and what i think everybody else would like everything that everybody's been telling me i'm taking that into consideration for my store but i did have a problem with aliexpress and I don't know if anybody else had went through this. I couldn't get in touch with them for nothing. And I needed to pay for some items um, in my store. And I just couldn't get in contact with them. And I was like, oh my God. Um, okay, so yeah. I tried looking for a telephone number for them. I tried customer service. It was nothing but a robot. I tried everything for like a whole week. I was trying to get in touch with them. But finally... Um, I realized that AliExpress have their own app. It's not Deezer, which is the company that links AliExpress to your market, to your store. It is There's two different apps, you guys, and I didn't know that. So I'm learning a lot. There's an app for almost everything, for emails, for marketing, for um, your POS. There's an app for everything. And I'm also learning that when you pick your products, pick what you like, pick what you would want to buy, pick what you would buy if you had only $10 left and you wanted to spend that $10 and buy something, what would you choose? And so I got some fancy swancy stuff. I got some ghetto stuff and I have some of my personality of the city I'm from in my store and I have the elegant side of me the mature and grown-up side of me in my store and so you getting a little bit of Angie in everything and I'm just hoping it has a good result because your girl is out here working her booty off I'm working I'm a boss now so that's why my store is called big boss products you guys Thanks for watching me. I'm going to be giving you guys some marketing tips. Marketing tip number one. If you can do it yourself, which I have experience in marketing because I used to market my music and marketing, uh, market, marketing my music, um, the singles that I put out before because I was an R&B soul singer. You can look me up online and I'm still there, but this is old stuff, you guys. Uh, but number one, if you could do it yourself, do it yourself. You can use AI. 
um download one of those apps i think you could try it for free for like the first month try that first okay so here's some apps off the top of my head that you can use so you can use the ai you can make your facebook page a instagram page a TikTok page a pinterest page put it on auto uh, for the ads make you some ads through Pinterest if you don't know how to do it yourself hire someone go to Fiverr and hire a uh, like personal assistant or someone that knows how to do marketing uh, which I have one and he's very good um, yeah go to Fiverr that is another app I did tell you guys about and start getting it done you guys I got a biggest headache ever so it's the next day and I want to be quite honest with you guys. All this Instagram and TikTok stuff where they're saying all you need is an E&I number and you need the proper paperwork to get a loan, to get approved for a business loan or to get approved for business funding is a lie. It's a lie. Wow. Good credit. They do check your credit. Matter of fact, that's the first thing they do is check your credit. Stop believing it. They check your credit. And if you don't have good credit, you ain't gonna get it. Matter of fact, one person, if you've gotten approved on bad credit, let me know, cause I wanna know. I need a loan. Let me know. Comment down below. A credit card. Comment down below. And I'm not talking about the credit card that reports to your personal credit. I'm talking about the one that reports to your business credit. That's right. Dunn and Bradstreet. Let me know. Because I've tried. And I want to be honest with you guys. So, all right, ladies. Until next time, you got to know that I know that you are a boss. You're a boss!